Su's name is Zhuang Zhou, born in the Warring States period, is a significant figure of Taoism. Though he was born in a chaotic time, he still kept his pure and natural heart, was one of the wisest men of our country. Let us watch his story together. Ew, why is the top of my head itchy? I don't care. There are a lot of animals mentioned in the book Zhuangzi. They quacked and squeaked. What were they about? No worry. Luckily, I have specially prepared this translation egglet. I shall understand what the animals speak once I have eaten it. What? It is just a leaf. Why is there a leaf on the top of your head? A flower would be good for me to collect honey. It is a useless leaf. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, oh, look! His head is specially big, with a leaf on the top of the head. It is weird. The leaf is not appetizing at all. <laughs> you guys! Croak, croak! Anyone there? Would you like to visit my world? This well is the world's best place for swimming, cooling, and living. Would you like to come down and see? Are you the frog living in a well mentioned in Zhuangzi? <laughs> frog in a well, looking at the sky from a well. Thinking the well is big. And not knowing the outside world is vast. Croak, croak. A big head with a useless leaf. So strange. I don't believe in you, bragger. Uh, I never knew I looked strange. This leaf is useless. I don't want it. Ouch! Ouch! Sorry, are you okay? I'm fine. Be careful. I am Huizi, heading to meet Zhuangzi urgently. See you. Mr. Hui, I'm looking for Zhuangzi too. May I join you? Oh, sure. Zhuangzi's home is over there. Mr. Zhuang! Hello! I am Little Leaf! Hello! Zhuangzi, tell you a strange story. King of Wei gave me some giant gourd seeds. But after the gourds grew, are not sturdy enough to hold water. Half-cut gourds are too shallow to place food. I found them useless and bashed them. What do you think why King of Wei sent me the gourd seeds? Ha <laughs> ha, I see. Let me tell you a story. Once there was a lineage in the state of Sam, rinsing silk for a living for generations. They knew how to make a medicine preventing chapped hands in winter. Rubbing our family's no chapped hand medicine. A speedy recovery for sure. You're right! My hands are cured! Brother, I can do laundry again! Later, somebody knew about it and offered a very high price for the secret recipe of the no chapped hand medicine. Wow! wow. It, it is, is a, a lot, lot of, of money. money! The rinsing silk lineage thought those money were much more than their income from rinsing silk for generations. Combined together and quickly sold the recipe to that person. I see! That person wanted to do laundry in winter, too. So he bought the medicine recipe. Nope. After he bought the recipe, he presented it to the King of Wu and led armies for the King of Wu to attack Yue State. It was winter time. After the Wu soldiers used the no chapped hand medicine, though fighting naval battle with Ye, their skins were not chapped in the chilly wind and water. It is chilly on the water side. My hands got frostbites. Achoo! Their soldiers did not have the secret medicine. Hands and feet were painfully frozen in the water. Charge! Charge! Run! Run! Oh no! Wu soldiers are coming! Undoubtedly, the Wu armies won with flying colors. The man who bought no chapped hand medicine was granted land in Wu. See? With the same no chapped hand medicine. Somebody used it for laundry only. Somebody used it to have land granted. It showed the differences of utilization. From your point of view, what can I do with the useless giant gourds? 
To swim with it, you can tie the gourds around your waist and float wherever in rivers and lakes. So cozy. Brilliant. Your method is extraordinary. Ah, unfortunately, you would bash the gourds. It would be great if you had given me. Oh, right. I still have a giant tree called Ailanthus. Its strange appearance does not fit to use as timber. All lumberjacks do not spare it a glance. Useless. Not really, because it does not fit people's need as timber. It is not chopped off. The tree is the wonderland of lots of animals. Let's imagine, if I take a nap at the tree side, it would be a free and enjoyable life. <laughs> oh, right. Other trees were cut by lumberjacks. Mr. Zhuang, I got it. We should not uphold bias. Everything has its meaning. Yep, right. Um, um. This tortoise seems to be saying something. It is impossible that tortoises speak. Oh, yeah. Mr. Zhuang, Mr. Wei, I have brought the translation egglet. It is Hong Kong's signature food. You can understand animal language once you had it. Would you like to try? Hong Kong? Hmm. It is very tasty. I have never had this kind of food. Zhuangzi, may I know where to buy the no chapped hand medicine? My skin is rough with cracks. If I apply the medicine to make my skin silky, I will be very beautiful. Why is the tortoise speaking like a human? Hoizu, why can tortoises not speak like a human? You are so stubborn with your bias. <laughs> tortoise, your rough skin prevents you from injuries and not afraid of wind and frost. Uh, it makes sense. Mr. Wei, are you all right? Hmm. Oh, there is a caterpillar on your head. Mr. Little Leaf, thank you very much. Huh? A worm can speak too? I must be dreaming. Oh, why did you thank me? While you were resting under the tree, I was almost eaten by a wild bird. Luckily, I was able to hide under the leaf on your head. I survived because of it. Under your protection, I am sheltered from the heat of the sun and safe from the other animal's attack. Thank you. I found my home. I like the lawn in Zhuangzi's home very much. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ha! Huh, the leaf on my head is so useful. I just dreamt tortoises and worms can speak. Don't you think it's funny? Ha ha ha. Perhaps they did talk to you. Zhuangzi taught us not to be restrained from norms and bias. Imagination is needed. He thought we should not aimlessly desiring for materials. Neither shall we please others by distorting our true self. Following a natural way to live is a most comfortable and joyful thing.